Welcome everybody to a World of Tanks replay. My name is Maxwell and today's replay is from the user BSAN77. That's BSAN77 and he's driving the IS-6 on a standard battle on the Serene Coast. IS-6 being a tier 8 premium heavy tank for the Russians. Pretty nice tank as well, got a good hit point pool, decent armour. Well, not decent armour, it's got fantastic armour and an okay cannon. The cannon can tend to be a little bit unreliable. In fact, if we just take a look at the quick stats here, it's got 175 penetration, 390 damage. That's nice at tier 6, but not so great at tier 8. Alpha on it is pretty good. Pen can be a little bit unreliable, and the accuracy is also pretty unreliable. But like I said, this thing has the armor to be able to just power through the moments when the gun lets you down. So straight away, B-San going to be heading to the right-hand flank as is quite a large portion of the Allied team as well. Hopefully they can overpower whatever enemy tanks come to this location and then be able to push on quickly, as they've only got a scattering of forces on that left-hand flank. B-San going to be moving forward here, still not encountered anybody. So maybe the enemy totally neglecting this flank entirely. Nope, there we go. Some people do show up now. There's a Tiger 2 in the back there. B-San puts a lovely shot through his low plate. Tries to back off, but the KV-2 just gets in the way a little bit there. KV-2 has his shot as well. B-San going to be focusing on the low plate of this Tiger 2. Trying to put that one through his track as well. In an effort to try and take that out so that he can't retreat, unfortunately. Like I said, the accuracy of the gun letting him down ever so slightly as that one just plants in the dirt. Going to change his attention to this T-37. And he puts a fantastic shot in the back of his turret as he backs off there. And then he gets eliminated very shortly after. Gun almost reloaded now. It's time to move forward. Finds the Cheeto in the background there. Was thinking about having a shot, but could only see a very, very small part of his turret there. So maybe didn't want to risk that one just yet. Did want to risk that one, as you can see plenty of the tank at that point. Gets a lovely almost 400 damage shot onto him. Tiger 2's in a little bit of a bad spot here. He's got a KV-2 closing in from the right-hand side. And B-San closing in from the left. He gets a quick 1-2 and he gets taken out. Now going to focus on this Cheeto in the background there. Although he gets himself behind a rock and gets himself into safety. Looks like B-San's just had a very quick glance at the mini-map there. As you can see, the enemy team pushing lots of heavy tanks through the centre and through that far left-hand flank. So it's going to be up to some of the allies to come back and try and do something about that. And B-San doing exactly that. Responding to map information at the right time, or hopefully the right time, to be able to get back and do something about it. We're going to speed this one up because the IS-6 is not the fastest tank in the world. So I'm going to have to accelerate this one just a little bit while he gets back into the action. As you can see, the enemy team pushing in very, very quickly. Got two IS-6s closing in. That Object 416 from earlier in the game still alive. He's doing a good job of not getting himself killed. B-San going to use the terrain here. Get himself behind the little hill. Into a nice hold down position where he can fire at the enemy team. But they can't really return very good fire back onto him. Lands one shot onto one IS-6. The other one is also in the cap circle and he's on full health. B-San just bounces a lovely shot there. IS-6 trying to focus on the object. The object just playing peekaboo a little bit too well. B-San does take another hit, but doesn't take any damage. As like I said, he's using this terrain fantastically. Rocking forwards and backwards, trying to lure the other IS-6 into having a less than perfect shot. Which he did as he missed, but B-San didn't quite get any damage back onto him either. Gonna have to come around and do something about this now. As the two IS-6s are capturing the base. Just misses that shot ever so slightly. A little bit slow on the reflexes there. Fired at the IS-6, but he'd already fired himself and started to back off. He's taken fire from the left-hand side now. So hopefully he's going to be distracted, and that's going to allow B-San to come in and just reap the rewards of the free damage through the side of the IS-6. 
He's taken fire from this object. 4-1-6 on the T-15 in now. Bisan can get this kill. He can indeed. That's kill number one. His first kill now of the match. Although he has done over 3,000 points of damage. Game all even at 11 kills to 11. Hopefully going to be a little bit more soon as they find M6 here. Got to play carefully as the M6 does have a 90mm cannon and can kick out a decent amount of damage. Although the T40 just comes around the corner with the equalisation. To take him out. Allies winning this one now. 12 kills to 11. Four of them left. They're going to push straight up the centre. As that's the last place that the enemy team was spotted. And again, just going to speed this one up a little bit until we get back into the action. Bisan skirting the lake here in the middle. He's got the T-40 going way out left and the object 416 camping way at the back there for some reason. Bisan finds the Panther M10. Has a quick snapshot there but he hadn't aimed long enough for this cannon. And that one just sailed harmlessly over the top of the Panther. Going to lie in wait. Hopefully he'll reappear and he'll be able to take his shot. There is still a Super Pershing somewhere. I don't think we know how many hit points he's got. He does have two kills, so he's probably not just been sat in base all game. Bisan finds the Panther again. Going to try and get a hit on him. Gets a beautiful shot on him as he backs off there for 400 points of damage. And that Panther is going to think twice before venturing up onto that cliff again. Hopefully the Object 416 can use that opportunity to come close him down. But it looks like he's just camping real, real hard. Got to be wary of this Super Pershing. Who is around here somewhere. Panther M10 shows his face. But the Object 416 is closing in. Not got the penetration. Although he has been spotted. And the S51 lands a shot. Takes it from the right hand side from the Super Pershing. The Super Pershing is almost on full health. Got to play this one carefully as the penetration, like I said, of this cannon on the IS-6. Not fantastic. If you just fire snapshots at the front of a Super Pershing, you're never going to penetrate. Object 416 has been able to take out the Panther M10 now. And he's moving in to offer some support. On AT-15 on the right hand side. But it looks like he's just going for the base capture. Super Pershing focusing on the Object 416 and he takes a hit from B-San now. Going to move in. He may be able to out damage the Super Pershing but not if he bounces shots like that. Still taking fire from this S-51. Luckily he moved just before the S-51 fired. And that means that that shot didn't do full damage. Gets a beautiful shot through the top of the turret of the Super Pershing there to take him out for kill number two. Four and a half thousand points of damage. Now it's just the S51 to find and kill. AT15 A. Going to sit in the cap circle. As the rest of the team looks for the artillery. He's last spotted in this area. But you can bet your bottom dollar that he's started to run. And he's going to be nowhere near this location there. There we go. He is in C1. He fires just as the base capture finishes. That one didn't land, but that is GG and the victory. So awesome replay there from B-San picking himself up. Two kills, four and a half thousand points of damage. And really helping his team with the victory there. So awesome replay from you. Thank you very much for sending that one in. Don't forget, guys, if you've got yourself a great replay, send that into replay at screenreality.com. Link for that is in the description. Just attach the replay file itself or the link to the What Replay website to the email, and I can check that one out for you. And don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, you found it useful, informative, you learned something, or you just thought it was fun, think about hitting that subscribe button because there's a lot more World of Tanks content on this channel. I have been Maxwell, it's been a World of Tanks replay, and I will catch you guys next time.